we going, Mama? We are gonna have the best day ever. I know it's been tough. Losing your grandma. And I know you were scared when you couldn't find me the other day. Yeah. So? We're going to have a great day today. We're going to take the bus over to Storbyen and go get ice cream! Yeah! But first, a present. It's a new friend. And she's a scientist, just like me. Wow, does she have a knife like you? I want to cut up the bodies like you, Mama. Oh, you mean a scalpel. No, sweetie. We don't hurt people. We help them. Okay, fine. Okay. What do you say we go get that ice cream? Yeah! Okay. The bus should be here in a few minutes. We better get going. Not this again. Come on, Orson. Mama? What's going on? Everything's okay, Angel. Come on. The bus is right over here. Mama? I'm scared. It's okay. I've got you. It's okay. I want to go home. I know, Angel. But I need you to be a brave boy, okay? I got something I need to say. We've been friends a long time. We've seen some shit. Some of it we caused. But there's some crazy shit going down at the Foundation. There were... things... I saw there. Things they brought here that are gonna kill everyone we know. That was... I don't know what happened that night. But I trust my wife, so I trust the Foundation. You're fucking hopeless, man. You all deserve each other. Well, I really hope you change your mind about all this. Papa, I... Hello, Astri. Mette? I was just leaving. Holly and I decided things were too hectic around here. But I'll be close by at the hotel. You like sleeping on ice? It's better this way. Oh, well, it's a shame you can't stay here, Aunt Mette. But let me help you with your bags. Oh, that's not necessary. I can take that. So this is morphine. I am a nurse. This is highly regulated. Why would you carry this with you? You know what it's like to work in a hospital. Did you know one day I somehow came home with a used scalpel? Mama had traces of morphine in her system when she died. Yes, because Carl had been administering it. She died because of her illness. I think Papa should know about this. But why? It will just make him upset. Aunt Mette? Astri, I don't care for your tone of voice right now. Astrid? Is that you? In here. Astrid's just helping me with my bags. Astrid? Mama, I'm bored in the car. Is it alright if I give the boy a sweet? I prefer he eat fruit. There are blueberries in the kitchen, Eleven. But stay away from the sun cocker. 
Astrid and I are working through some disagreements. Papa is trying. I give him credit. How was the ice hotel? Not too cold, I hope. It's fine. I'm sure Leo's being a wonderful host. Just drink a bit of warm vodka before bed. It'll ward off the chills. Thank you for the tip. Perhaps we can all sit down for a big family dinner tonight. It's a shame Brit isn't here. That sounds lovely, but... But? But Meta and I need a moment alone first. We do? Just give us a few minutes, Papa. I'll be in the kitchen. Have you told him yet? About what? The morphine. What else would I be talking about? Astrid, let me explain. You're going to tell him you brought a controlled substance into this house. The drug that killed my mother. Or there will be hell to pay. You know, I don't think I've ever noticed how much you look like your mother. Her spitting image. And like Mama, you don't want to make me angry. So just tell him. You two done in there? I need help in the kitchen. Be right there, Papa. Come on. Just a drop. My blood does offer protection, but it also imbues me with incredible power. And if you don't bring me to Toby right now, I'll make you regret it. No, god damn it, no! Lost in the fucking fog for hours, and now this! I got nothing else to say to you, Rachel! Toby, wait! Don't listen to her. She's a witch. Don't I fucking know it. Toby, wait! For what? Huh? What am I waiting on? My sister's dead. This town hates me. What could you possibly have that's worth me waiting for? I think you should join us. <laughs> the cult that murdered my sister wants me to join them. Did you honestly believe you could escape us? The Foundation? Businesses? Police? We control everything. And those visions you're having, the monsters, we can make them worse. The only way out is in. Join us. On behalf of me and my dead sister, fuck you. Toby, wait! Papa? Oh. You... You startled me. Is everything all right, Astrid? There's, um... A bit of a situation. With Mama. A situation? What's wrong? She's... It sounds a lot worse than it is, but... She's missing. She... What? Where's your mother? What did I do with her? Haugen thinks it was a simple error. The important thing right now is that we trust the police to do their job. Trust the police? Trust Haugen? After everything she put me through. I know, Papa, I know. But it's only for a couple of days. If you can't trust them, trust me. How can I trust you? You've sided with the enemy. My God. First the vandalism. Now this? It took her, didn't it? The shadow. Papa, that's not true. Yes, that's what happened. I need to focus on protecting the farm from whatever is out there. Papa, I don't think you're dealing with anything more than vandals. We have had issues with harassment before. I think this is different. You think? But you don't know. Set up some cameras. Get some hard proof. You could catch whoever it is in the act. Or whatever. Let's 
see who's been snooping around my farm. Astrid will be happy you listened to her. You really think this will work? I hope so. You should have told me your plans, Xavier. I know, Barbara, but... I'm sorry, I... No, I was expecting you. You were? I told you recruiting Toby was absolutely crucial. No room for error, Rachel. She knows. I did what I thought was needed, and it should have worked, but he just wouldn't hear it. Rachel, I admire your convictions. You're not easily deterred. I can try again. I'll... Don't bother. I already brought him in. What? He came to Krista. Toby will be initiated within the week. He didn't need protection. He needed someone to listen. Offering protection was clever. Krista may have gotten him to make the decision, but I have no doubt Rachel's influence contributed to that. Now, about Toby's induction ceremony. If I may, I did have something in mind, Xavier. I'd like your daughter to be Needlebearer for the ceremony. Are you sure that's the best idea? Why wouldn't it be? Well, Eric and I aren't exactly on the greatest terms with Toby right now, and... Eric thinks it's too early to involve Faith in the Foundation. Do I really need to say anything here? I'll talk to Eric. Good. You shouldn't be here. See this? Too late. I've got all the evidence I need of you attacking my farm. Turn away, Eva. <laughs> Let's go.